Okay, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can locate your amplifier on your BMW F Series. Now, many people have different amplifiers. If you've got the Hi-Fi system, you have a different amplifier, which will be S76 for your amp. If you have the Harman Kármán, that'll have a different amp. And also if you have the Logic 7, that'll be a different amp also. A lot of people don't know where this is and they get mixed up between that and the other modules in the rear. So I'm gonna be showing you which one is the amp, how to locate it. And if you want to upgrade it, you'll then know how to take it out, remove it, and then put your new upgraded amp inside your car. So let's get onto it. What? God damn, get it done with you. Woo. When the blow up now, everybody's so unusual with it. Shit. But said times in his rhymes cause his memories. We run into New York so you know. Okay guys, so when you buy your F series, if you have no sound from your speakers, which is very unlikely because a lot of the amps on the F series don't really fail anymore because they're out the way of heat. But if you do have an amp problem or a sound problem, or you're just looking to upgrade your amp, a lot of you will come here and look around and not find it. Now, a lot of the cars used to have it under the floor and most still do. But on the F20 and F30, it's actually located in the same place as the active sound design module, which is down there. And again, bolted on by one bolt just down here. That's the amplifier for the whole car. And that's the amplifier you will take out if you're looking to upgrade it. Now, I know a lot of you look to upgrade your amp to get better sound from the hi-fi system if you've got it fitted, or if you've got the Harman Kármán, because Harman Kármán isn't the best on this car. Um, the tweeters and everything else is good, but the rear speakers are basically useless. So a lot of people look to upgrade to a more upgradable amp than a BMW one or a Harman Kardon one. This is where your amp will be located. You would remove that bolt right down there. Then it would just slide out from the side here. You put your hand down the side and it would be able to slide it out. You take the connector off, which you can get your hand in there and remove the connector. And then you'd be able to take the amp out. And as you can see, it locks on to the bracket right there and holds up which isn't too hard to actually get to. It can, you can get to it very easily, um, but a lot of people just choose not to and to leave the amp, especially if it fails. So what a lot of people don't realize, the radio amp is actually connected with the active sound design amp, and they're both made by the same companies. So if one goes down, you lose actually both of them. So therefore, if you're not getting no sound from your speakers, or your sound's cutting out, it will be your amp. Now, the best bit is to not try and buy another BMW one. The best thing to do is to buy an upgraded one, which you can buy all across the internet these days. Many people have made upgraded amps for these cars, especially if you have a hi-fi system, you'll be able to upgrade your amp with no problems whatsoever. And the amps that they're providing these days on the market for aftermarket ones are actually better than the actual BMW ones and much, much cheaper. Okay guys, as you've seen now, I've now shown you where your radio, hi-fi, Logic 7, Harman Kardon amp location is on your BMW F Series. Now, on my BMW F20, it's located on the left side, which is the passenger side, which will be the driver's side in the US. But I cannot say for sure if it'll be located in the same position on your F30 or 2 Series. Therefore, I do recommend you check. And if you are having problems with the sound or your active sound design isn't working, this is something I do highly recommend you check because they're both connected in sequence together. So they both work together. The active sound design has got a pass through to the amp to come through the actual speakers as well, but not to interfere with obviously your listening experience to your actually radio or your music inside the car. So therefore it is something I do highly recommend you check because if one goes down, it takes them both down. So I hope this video is gonna help you locate your amp system on your BMW F series. Thank you very much for watching. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.